for Senior Day in East Lansing. Wisconsin and Maryland both at 14 and 6, and they have a share of the Big Ten regular season crown. Michigan State can join them with that if they win here today. And ahead, Andre Wesson. Puts it up good in the foul on Alexa Hart. Terrific finish by Gaines. She's into double figures with 10 Senior points. From Merrillville, Indiana, number 15, Victoria Coco all these expectations. You want your senior year to be perfect. So I'm in the process of planning all these things. I remember talking to Susie about, I really want to take the role of being there for my teammates and you know, doing things that make me uncomfortable just for me to be better as a person and as a teammate. So I remember having that conversation with her during one of our workouts in the summer. She was all there for it. and. You know, it was one of those, you know, this is my last year, like, go hard or go home things. Big Ten play starts today as the Michigan State women's basketball program visits Bloomington to take on the 14th ranked Indiana University Hoosiers. I remember the IU game. That's when I hurt my knee. I was really just in the zone. It was one of those like, wow. It just felt right, it felt good, I felt good. I just remembered that one play where I hurt myself. I drove to the basket and I did an up and under move, just like how coach said. And I went up with my left hand, but when I went up, my knee was kinda twisted. I don't really even remember, but she kinda bumped me the defender, and when I went up with my left hand, at least I made the bucket though, I do say that. I made the bucket, and I just felt a little, I wouldn't even say, yeah, I kind of felt a pop, but I didn't at the same time. It just didn't feel right. I ran back, and that's when I was like, okay, what's going on? This doesn't feel right. I got a sub, I went in the back, and I just kind of started freaking out, because I, I knew something was wrong if I can't walk it off. Simpson, sort of a settle by him. Who hurt an ankle? It's Orange. Right yeah. It's Orange. Oh my God, what he's been through. The bond, the brotherhood that exists on the team, and to see one man go down, and everyone feels that. He has been nicked, legs and back. Y'all can't even put in their imagination what he's been through the past six years. He's a true definition of a warrior. Nothing but love and respect, my brother. It just feels like it's a constant process of getting hurt, rehabbing, feeling good. There's always a bump in the road, it feels like. But the amazing support I have with the teammates, my family, my wife, they just always have been there for me. They've always kept me motivated, and that's why I'm able to come back this year and able to just keep playing basketball. Kyle's injuries just go. He doesn't know how to, to not practice hard. He doesn't know how to not play hard, so his wear on his body is probably more than I'd say the average person. I could have threw in the towel and after all the injuries I've had and been done, but I chose to come back. I chose to give it all I have, and I'm just blessed to have this opportunity to be here. It kind of makes you a better person. Uh, you see things differently. You put things in perspective. A lot of people see him as a basketball player, but you know I got to see him from a perspective as a brother. I mean, he's pretty much the reason I fall in love with basketball, honestly. Him taking me to the gym early mornings, late nights, getting extra shots up, things like that. Every day we'd be in the gym together, whether it was Christmas, the Super Bowl, no matter the day. We were there getting better and we always had each other's backs. I remember in high school, Kyle was excited to be a senior. 
Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. It was so much fun because, you know, there was sometimes it was Kyle and there was Justin and then there was Justin's twin AJ and all three of them were out there and Kevin was on the bench coaching and that just made it really neat to see all four of them out there at one time. We just had a bond always. We always enjoyed watching each other's success and just always strive to get each other better. It was very exciting and I remember Kyle just being so excited to do that with his brothers. I remember coming to Brez around 10.30 and I remember going up to Dean's office, talking to him for a little bit. I told him how nervous I was to get the results for the MRI. And I remember telling Coach K that too. And I remember going downstairs shooting the basketball because we had to do put up a certain amount of um, shots. And I stopped like halfway through because I had to talk to one of my teammates. I continued to do my shots and I seen Lou and Dean come to the aux gym. I go over there and Lou looks at me and tells me, um, it's a meniscus tear. So in my head, I'm like, okay, like, this is nothing serious for real. Like, I have a meniscus tear. I can still play with that. But I stopped her when she was talking about the tear and asked, and asked her about my ACL. And she kind of just looked at me in a certain way, and I'm just looking at her, and then I look at Dean. And I'm just like, okay, so what are you trying to say? Like, go ahead, say it. In my head, that's what I'm, <laughs> my eyes felt like they were saying. So it was mainly just the meniscus tear and the MCL um, sprain in my right knee. But um, I remember just breaking down. I remember finally letting what she just told me sink into my body and actually coming to terms with it and just breaking down. And I just kind of collapsed. I remember having a ball in my hand and I kind of just like held it and put my head down. And it was like one of those instincts where it's like a snap in my body. I don't know, I just snapped out of it and just started thinking all these positive things because that was the only way I was gonna get through this. At this point, I still kind of digested stuff, but like I didn't at the same time, it's still new to me. And um, I just kind of said that I wanted to talk to Lou. So Dean got out of there and I was talking to Lou a little bit and I don't even remember what we even talked about, but she helped me out and Nick, the boys trainer, he came in there and talked to me. And mm, like, I don't, I don't really remember just because I just trained my, my body not to think about bad things for real. It was a lot going through my head that day. I didn't want to believe like that was my last game, but at, at the end of the day, it was my last game. And right now it's more like me, I had to figure out what I want to do outside of basketball now. And you know, I get all the questions like, oh, so what are you going to do after basketball? Are you going to go overseas? Or stuff like that, questions like that. And it's just one of those questions where it's just like, okay, I'm tired of this question, but I'm going to have to answer it just because a lot of people want to know. And so it frustrates me because I didn't really get the experience like a lot of people who don't play sports to do internships or get more hours doing what they want to do or see if they want to do that. My senior year, I just always visualized myself being there for my teammates, how I wish somebody was there for me. And that's really how I went about my senior years. It's, it's bigger than just me, you know? It's, it's everybody a part of the staff, my, the team, the staff, like the GAs, everybody, the managers. So it's one of those like, how would you want to be treated? And that's how I go about my day every day.
in a position some kids um, that she's in could easily walk out the door and say, well, I did what I could, but I can't play and I don't have anything more to give. And I think Coco recognizes it's, it's basketball is what I did. It isn't who I am. What we do is hard. What these kids go through every day is hard and it's challenging. But what I've watched Coco, what I appreciate about Coco is she truly is genuine with the people around her um, in terms of inspiring them. I think she's gotten out of the program. Um, as much as she's given, I think she's learning to get more out of the program. And Coco has a different side to her. And kids like that genuinely succeed in life because basketball isn't their life. It's something they do, it's not who they are. And then for Coco, she's just been a pleasure, a joy. She's never in trouble. She's got a smile on her face. She does what she's supposed to do. I mean, she's just been a blessing. I really want to be a role model and I want to do things that are bigger than just me. So right now I'm just kind of focused on like the teacher aspect and it could be a teacher in like coaching or just a mentor. That's really what I'm focused on. Um, just being around kids and trying to change their mindset like they're more than what they think they are. When he got recruited, we had our talks, you know, like, Kyle, we want to come watch you play. But if you get that four-hour mark was our driving point with working and we're looking at stuff, to have a Michigan State or even, you know, a Big Ten school coming at you, hey, we're offering you in a scholarship, and you're just like, wow. So we're here. He is taking it all in, and I'm trying to read him. All right, is this the right place? Is this? And we came to a practice, and I'll never forget. I thought it was intense. It was lively. And Kyle was no longer sitting. He was standing, and he was on the court. He was watching, and I'm like, okay, here, <laughs> this is going to be good. Michigan State really felt like a home to him. That was a place that after he visited, he was like, he felt really confident with just the community and the family aspect. And I remember him just being really excited. Everyone's pulling for each other. Everyone loves to see the other person succeed. It's a culture here, it's a tradition. So just being a part of the program and all the greats that have been a part of this program, it's special. As Justin continued to grow in the sport and have the same opportunities Kyle had, Kyle was really excited to be that support for him. They both knew they were very talented, and for Kyle being able to experience it before Justin, he took a lot of ownership in letting Justin know what that was like. He helped me with getting my mental right, you know, getting back on track, keeping my, my perspective right on what's important in life, you know, basketball is, but at the end of the day, you just gotta be happy too. I just told him, don't make your decision right away. Enjoy the process. Enjoy going to each place and seeing and writing down the pros and cons of going there. I also told him, don't go too far from home. He always wanted to go really far from home. And I told him, it'd be kind of hard to walk out of a game and not see your parents there every game or see them every few games. And I told him how hard it was sometimes for me, driving three and a half hours up here, sometimes not seeing my parents and family at the games. So I told him to really think about that. He's a good big brother in that way, so I think Justin w was really excited about it and Kyle was excited to kind of take him under wing and let him know how it goes. Obviously this transition to college is hard. You know, with him going through a lot of different injuries and things like that and seeing him persevere, it's really cool, I think. You know, it just shows the type of person he is. We really value our relationship, so we're able to talk to each other when we're both down or we're going through a hard time and able to talk each other through it and just get back to ourselves and be able to play the game. Oh, Henry. Switched it. Outside. Three pointer. Oh, come on now. You hit back one in on the top of the key, but you don't bank them in from the baseline. Watts 
Three goes. And one. Winston, I should say, with a fadeaway three and that look at that look on his face as he comes down the court. Crowd is going absolutely crazy as the lead goes to 20. Barnes, one of the captains, coming out. Ever here. As I go to 14 and 6, and it's a share of the Big Ten crown for the third year in a row for Sparty. The first time we played against each other in college, I just enjoyed even warming up and seeing how many people came from my hometown that were there to support us. We were able to take a huge group to Columbus and be able to support Kyle and Justin in the same way, in the same, in the same game. And it was just, it was really special, especially for those two. Competing against each other in the Big Ten, it's really cool. It's something we never really thought we were going to do when we were younger. You know, when we were running around the house, we never thought, oh, I'm going to go to Ohio State, he's going to go to Michigan State. You know, it's just, how it's, it's just how it played out and I'm really thankful for it and, you know, it's been really fun. My adrenaline was running very high that game and being able to see your brother on a different team is really weird but I'm so happy for him that he gets to live out his dream and watch him succeed that like sometimes he's going on the court when he shoots a shot I'm like I hope that goes in for him. And then again I'm competitive so I don't want him to make the shot. You know it's, it's special. Not being able to play at Ohio State this year I was kind of bummed out about that but once I saw the schedule come out, we got them on senior night, and that makes it all worth it. It'll be a fun atmosphere, good game. I'm looking forward to it, and you know, it'll be great to have all the family and friends there. I'm sure a lot of people from back home will be there just to see us compete against each other one more time. You know, when you start five years ago and you, you come to this day, you, you don't ever believe it's going to get here or it'll ever happen. And Sue and I joke because we wanted the whole family to be together that the last day for us to all walk together and it's like, you know, it's awesome, it's gonna happen. But, you know, it could be to where they're playing, when they're playing each other and you're thinking, well, this isn't how we really were planning it out. <laughs> um, but special memories. It'll probably be difficult and it might be really difficult on his brother knowing that, that Kyle's a senior and it's his last game and emotions and Poor mom and dad, I can only imagine what that'll be like, but in a way, what a privilege. You got two sons, you got your brothers playing at another Big Ten school. Two guys from this small little town of a couple thousand people, they're playing at Michigan State and Ohio State. What a proud moment, and one that is uh, as special as it gets. I feel like I lose all the way around because one of my kids loses and we're so competitive in our family <laughs> that it's like, oh, it's just, it's a hard day because somebody's going to lose. So being senior night, I'm, I'm hoping for the best for Michigan State because it's senior night, no matter who that was, I always love to see a senior night win. At the end of the day, we're brothers. He's going to be there supporting me on my senior night. So I'd love for him to come out there and walk out with my family. And I feel like he will. And at that moment too, it's bigger than basketball. It's about how you've helped this person get to this point, and he's your brother. And I just got goosebumps. It's just, it's a really amazing, an amazing, amazing thing. All these guys' families, the ones over there, the ones here, it was an interesting year, and one that we all hung in there. And I said, when you get up one more time than you're knocked down, it's a good life lesson. As I told them today, these are memory makers, they're footprints in the sand. Someday this building will crumble. Those banners will move to the next new building. And they ain't forgetting us. I'm going to make sure of that. And we're going to raise a banner for all of you, because of all of you. And I tell you, I appreciate you. I appreciate these players. for. Connor, 
for Kyle, for Joshua. You know, as I say every year, we're put here to make players learn, grow, get better. Sometimes players like Cassius this year helps a coach learn, grow, and get better. So I want to thank all of you for what you've done for me. And now we'll raise the banner.